In this short video, I'm gonna show you guys how to butcher a squirrel with stone tools. We're gonna to be using mahogany obsidian today. This is some obsidian I picked up when I was out in Oregon last summer. Just gonna knock off a few flakes here with this hammer stone. And that's really all you need is just a few little flakes like that. And we're actually going to case skin this squirrel. So to do that, we'll make an incision down the back of the leg, like this, all the way to the anus, or the poop hole. Then we'll make an incision all the way around the ankle. on each rear leg. Once the skin is cut around the ankles, separate the skin from the rear legs by pulling the skin towards its shoulders and use the sharp stone flake to separate any stubborn areas. Your finger works great for separating the skin from the body. Here I push my finger in between the two and work it along the thin connective tissue to separate the skin from the carcass. I pull the skin partially down the tail to expose the base of the tail. Then I use my thick stone chopper as a primitive meat cleaver to cut through the tailbone. Then I pull the skin down the body toward the squirrel's head. This is much easier if the squirrel is fresh and warm. This squirrel was previously frozen so the connective tissue is cooled and holds much more tightly. I had to use the obsidian flake much more than I would if this was a freshly killed squirrel. The skin is more stubborn around the neck, so I again use the razor sharp obsidian flake to separate the skin further down the body towards the head. Once I reach the base of the skull, the stone chopper is used to cut through the neck bone and soft tissue and remove the squirrel's head. I use the stone chopper to also remove the front feet at the wrist joint. With the skin removed, we now have a clean carcass ready for processing. Removing the legs is essentially the same as butchering a deer, it's just on a much smaller scale. The rear legs are removed by slicing along the pelvis bone until you reach the ball and socket joint. Then the legs are freed from the body. To remove the shoulders, you cut into the armpit until you reach the rib cage, then follow the ribs up the body toward the spine. Separate the muscle along the backbone to detach the shoulders. Any feet still remaining on the legs are chopped off with the stone chopper. The front and rear legs are lean, delicious cuts of meat. I usually discard the rest of the body because it doesn't provide enough meat to make processing worthwhile. With these simple stone tools, I was able to process this squirrel quickly and easily. The three obsidian flakes were now dull, so I recycled them by chipping them into scary sharp hunting points that would be attached to arrows and used on future hunts.